I had a few questions I wanted to ask the Google before we got started. Mm -hmm. We are, but you gonna sing the thing song for me while I look this up? Huh? Can yeah. You, come on, come on, boy. Come on, sing it first. Come on, hungry? Sing the theme song for your boy. <clears throat> hmm? Yeah. Hello? 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 You gotta swallow your food first. And it's three breakfast with babies. Breakfast with baby, breakfast with baby, breakfast with baby. That's the theme song. Rap music. Rap music. Like you want some rap music? Let me see. Uh I'm trying to think of a rap song. What's a good rap song? Uh, huh? Who? Laura. Okay, rap song. Hold on. Oh. Okay. X. Do you like eggs? Do you want yucky, bacon yucky, too? Yucky, yucky, yucky. You, want, you got bacon? Yeah, I got bacon. Back in your heart is where I want to be all the time. Back in your heart. Oh. Oh. Hey. Bacon. It's a doll. Mama, mama. Y'all done? Come on, you gonna hit this theme song for me again? Before you eat it? Hold on, theme song. Theme song, please. Oh, man. So, <clears throat> breakfast with baby, breakfast with baby, breakfast with baby. That's the theme song. You messed it up. Being goofy. Martin Luther King. Happy Martin Luther King Day. Today, Martin Luther King Day, y'all. Uh, birthday was yesterday. Was it? Uh, uh, that's why we celebrated on the Monday. It's supposed to be, I guess, on his birthday, the holiday. But his birthday was yesterday. So I made it a national, I mean, a federal holiday. Our federal holiday is on Monday, right? You don't know nothing. I know this. The I Have a Dream speech not free. I try to look up, see how many. They say they had the publishing EMI in the estate. Got the publishing rights of the I Have a Dream speech. I just was reading about it. Can't mm -hmm. find the whole... Uh, a whole, Speech. yeah, on even not even on YouTube, but I know they done made a bunch of money. I want to say, I just seen another article. They were saying Motown reissued it. I don't know if they signed with Motown reissued it as a single. God, how many copies it sold? I just seen it before, twenty million or sixty million or something. It's like the most famous rhetorical speech probably probably up but um I don't know why we ain't got no Malcolm X Street in Houston 
Okay, so I ain't gonna try to try and try. Oh, I know Malcolm X Street. Do anybody have a Malcolm X Street? Yeah. Oh, I'm young. Oh, Malcolm, okay, I'll get you some. That ain't no Malcolm X Street in Dallas. Yeah, it's a Malcolm X in Austin, I think. Austin got Malcolm. I don't know. I know Houston ain't got one. I just seen they change Dialin to Emancipation. Dick Dialin was the Confederate. They changed all the names. Like yeah, that one been changed for a couple of years now. Yeah, cause Dylan it was a middle school. I don't think that's the name of that middle school no more. You want milk? Yeah. But they changed Emancipation. They changed Dylan to Emancipation. And now they trying to petition to change Emancipation and to Malcolm X. Malcolm X. But I don't know. Said so I ain't finna name no streets after no historic racists. But Martin Luther King, I don't know, man. I don't know who. Martin Luther King was down, had some. I don't know, man. I guess. I don't know. I guess their intentions were good. <clears throat> but. I don't know, man. I know when all them, ki all them kids went to jail, man. That was Rockefeller. When all them kids went to jail in Alabama for that city, it was Rockefeller burned them out. So, I always, when I found that out, I always felt like, oh, okay, so Rockefeller and them was behind that whole bullshit. Southern leader in the Christian conference or whatever, Southern leadership or whatever. How he just gonna, why, why he gonna burn them niggas out? But, Judge Joe Brown said that Judge Joe Brown did the civil case. On that boy, this when you start messing up your videos and stuff, go to talking like this. But you know, Judge Joe Brown did the civil, the civil suit on Martin Luther King, and the guy whatever he say that how they saying he got shot, it ain't possible. possible. No, nope. that's what Judge Joe Brown said. He said he was the judge on the civil. He broke it down with the with the gun sub sniper rifle. It was a video. Subsonic sniper rifle would make a <laughs> Joe Brown a bad man. Say, bro. Hey, homeboy. I'm podcasting, bro. I'm podcasting. This is what we not gonna do on this Martin Luther King day. I have a dream. I have one day I have a dream that all the little kids would be quiet while I'm podcasting. We will be quiet and we will wait for the king to finish his podcast. I have a dream little boys and little girls all across the land will hold hands and say, let daddy finish his podcast. No. Yes. Podcast, podcast, God Almighty, let me finish my podcast. Yeah. Huh? Y'all like that? <laughs> Where your milk, bro? It's the babies, and it's Martin Luther King Day. What y'all gonna do? Y'all wanna go to the parade? Y'all wanna have our, we can have our own parade. Martin Luther King Parade. We could push you on the, we got the wagon. Hmm? It's a day. What? It's a day. It's a day? Yeah. What's that? Huh? Because. What? Anyways. What we gonna do? We gonna have a parade today? You wanna be in a parade? Huh? You can play the drums or you can ride on the back of the car, on the back of the scooter. And we can push you. And we can have him in the front. He can crawl. What's up, bro? That's they wagon? Right here? Yeah. Oh, what's up? Y'all want to have a wagon parade? Wagon parade. Come on, bro. What you doing? Come on. Keep your hands to yourself. What you doing, man? Why you grab that? You want a breakfast taco? Get you some teats. Man, you want one of them potatoes. 
Oh, is it my string beans say no. See ya. String beans say no. <laughs> string beans say no. Mama's gonna go to work, y'all. Huh, bro? You want a potato? Yeah, he ate the first. That don't like it. That don't like it. You want to eat it yourself? Here, you, you can eat it. You want to try to eat it? Potatoes. Come on, we got to go walk my mouth. No, I'm going to go walk my mouth. You finished eating? I'm going to come back. Huh? Okay. You all done? I'm going to walk my mouth. Come on, we're going to walk my mouth. Let's go. Let's go walk my mouth. 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 Clean your hands, alright? Yeah, I'll come right back. I can eat. Okay. Come on. Ooh, my boy. It's Martin Luther King Day. We're gonna have a parade on our own. What do you say? It's Martin Luther King Day. We're about to have a parade. About to parade. Ah! Yeesh, yeesh, don't mind me. Say, bro, how we gonna do this? Ah, huh? How we gonna do this? Let's go, huh? We got one up there watching Muppet Babies, right? This is my thing about Muppet Babies. Hold on, bro. Here. Bam. Yeah, I got some sweet potatoes, but I don't know. That might be too much. I guess that's cereal, not milk. So we got sweet potatoes and apples. Apple, cinnamon, sweet potatoes too, right? Apple, sweet potato, apple, carrot, and cinnamon. You wanna hit, you wanna hit a couple bites of this? Huh? We gotta, you can hit a couple bites of this mug. Where the spoon at? Ah. Ah, ah, checky, checky, checky. Oh. Yeah, man, look. I don't, the Muppet Babies, who is this summer girl? She new. How they bring new, you got the old stuff, but they introduce new characters. I don't even remember her. What is she, a penguin? Summer? Is she a penguin? Or oh, a bird? Where'd she come from? That's like five ninja to I always do that. They switched it up. You know, they made all the Ghostbusters uh women one time. They had girl women Ghostbusters. Yeah. Hey, I don't know. Right? Whatever. I'm just saying. Five Ninja Turtles. They make a new Ninja Turtle and then it's a it's a uh, a green turtle now, or a white turtle. The white turtle. Uh, we'll name the white, what'll be the white turtle? Van Gogh. The white turtle will be named Van Gogh. Now nah, he, I don't know. Look, do you want some of these? Check this out. It's still, uh, it's still Martin Luther King Day, right? I don't know what's up with the parade. We got a wagon. We can have our own parade. <clears throat> ah, sweet potatoes. Huh? I hid them. I hide them in the water for a little bit. Yeah. Sweet potatoes. Look, check it out. So, Martin Luther King was a ladies' man, right? With the gold rolling on. He's the ladies' man, Martin Luther King. So Jackie Kennedy, she say, oh, I don't fool with Martin Luther King because J. Edgar Hoover, when they was tapping out all, all the black people's phones and stuff back then, they was listening to Martin Luther King and that boy, they knew Martin Luther King had them. I got O's. In different area codes, area code. Martin Luther King got them hoes, MLK hoes, in different area codes, area codes, 
hoes. MLK got hoes in different area codes. Area. See, I don't know, man. I ain't trying to be, you know, talking down, desecrating these folks' legacies, man. I ain't talking down, but don't kill the messenger. I saw it in the book. I ain't see it in the book. I saw it in a, a quotation from a book. Or why Jacqueline Kennedy, she ain't like Martin Luther King. But wasn't she fucking over her husband too? Or was that? Or maybe not. I don't know. Or maybe that was uh after. I don't know. I wasn't there, bro. I just be reading stuff. They change the stories anyway. They always changing it up around, changing the story around to make it more juicy, man. They got to make the story more juicy, you know. So, that boy was, though, a pl I know this. Mahalia Jackson, right, one of the biggest uh, singers of the time, she was in the crowd. She was telling them, tell them about the dream, Martin. Tell them about the dream. That's how they used to be. Tell them. Tell them about the dream, Martin. And when he started going out about the dream, I have a dream that my podcast would get 1,000 subscribers and that we will be able to monetize on these videos. I was a boy. I'm a man. I was born. I'm a son of a Baptist preacher. I'm a son of a Southern Baptist preacher. I'm a grandson of a Southern Baptist preacher that taught me that men and women will hold hands and listen to my podcast after we get a thousand subscribers. Yeah, bro. Tell them about the dream, Martin. They say Martin Luther King used to call Mahalia Jackson at any time, at the drop of a dime. He used to call her and say, hey, Mahalia, sing me a tune to lift my spirit. And she'll sing it for him. How that ain't play up? How that ain't play up? So, but still, man, do we need to be, we, we, I guess, I guess we needed to get equal though first, or uh, legally, just on black and white, man. I guess we had to have that fight. We had to have it. No, you know, intentions, you never know. Hindsight 2020, you can always look back on how things went. You, know, you can always look back and see where things went wrong or why things are wrong. But I guess we had to become equal. Black people, our black side, bro. Because your black side going to always be stronger than anything else that's that you got in you, a part of you. And don't let nobody ever tell you otherwise. They'll always treat you more because you're black. Whether that's, you know, more bad or more worse. But... Your black side will always be. Your black side more anyway, bro. I'm the half and half. I just don't know anything about the Korean side. I need to figure some stuff out. And then I know some stuff about the black side, but then I'm starting to question the stuff that I know about the black side because they keep changing it. They have flipped the script on us. What is that noise? I don't got messenger. That's your cousin trying to Facebook time me because she don't got no iPhone. But I don't have Messenger on there. I got to go on the face. I don't know what phone. The, one of them phones. It's that other phone got the Messenger. We have to get on there. Let me see. You want to hit the sweet potatoes again? Sweet potato pop? Sweet potato pop. Let me see. Let me see. Maybe if I go on my Facebook... Cause I don't know. I think I got messenger on here. I don't know, bro. I don't know why that phone ringing with the messenger. Let's see. And Miss Smith sent y'all another package too. 
Miss Mary Smith. I sent her a message, man. A thank you. But I had a couple questions for her, man. Let me see what's going on. I want to see who we dealing with. And what, you know, everybody's story, man. Everybody got a story, man. It's one thing I learned in life about people, my man. Everybody come with a story. Boring, some boring, some exciting. But, you know. Want some more? Here, I got sweet potatoes. I got sweet potatoes. Ah, yeah. The carrots and sweet potatoes. Yeah, man. So, well. So. Right? We still ain't equal, though. Maybe on paper. But that ain't even no fight. Like, hey, man, sometimes it's kind of like, it's like this. I look at it like this, bro. Racism. And this is how the game go for us. I'm not saying that racism on these. I, I look at racism like cheating referees in the playoffs. In every sport, you're going to have cheating referees. In every sport, in the playoffs, you're going to have a team. You're going to be able to have a side, a team that's going to be able to say, man, them refs was cheating. Because they got to make the games go six, seven games, man, for TV anyway, right? So, it's like in them series, like basketball. Now, football, they be needing, you know, certain players. We want certain players to be the champion, to be the representation of this league. You know, that's just good for business. That's just good for business, right? Nothing better for the NFL than to have a Tom Brady Super Bowl champion. A Tom Brady Super Bowl champion is way better than a Patrick Mahomes, even though he got the light skin thing, right? So it probably ain't as bad, right? Because, uh... I don't know. I think he mixed. He might be mixed with white. Nah, a little, what's that? Lamar Jackson, quarterback, Super Bowl champion? Or Jalen Hurts, Super Bowl champion? That's not as good for the for the NFL as a Tom Brady, Super Bowl champion. But look, so in every sport, when it comes to the playoffs, You'll be able to say one side, one side will be able to say every time, man, them refs was cheating. So you got to play against the refs. That's just part of the game. You got to play against the refs. When the refs cheating, that's just part of the game. So you got to know how to play and you got to you gotta know how to win and beat the game. You got to know how to beat teams and beat the refs when they cheating in life. Or you can cry and say, man, they cheating. They cheating. But let me tell you about crying and cheating, right? I was in, let me tell you this. I was in San Antonio when Derek Fisher hit that point point oh four second last second shot against the San Antonio Spews. I was there. I was sitting there watching. Not at the game, but sitting there watching. And I had a lot of money on it. Not a lot of money, maybe some a lot of commissary, right? And I'm in San Antonio. And I remember Tim Duncan, he got the ball, boop, boop, boop. Tim Duncan dropped the three ball on him to, to make the game tied or to, or, to, or, to, or to go up. But when they did, because I think they went up. Maybe they went up by two. Right, but it's .04 seconds. Tim Duncan hit at the top of the key. He hit a three ball. Bam, we come back. It's .04 seconds. They thought Fisher come to the corner. They throw the ball to the corner. Fisher grab the ball and just turn around, throw that mug up. Switch. Lakers win the game. Lakers win the series. Right? And I remember they supposed to give us fried eggs for breakfast that night or that morning. And them hoes gave us boiled eggs for breakfast, man. A boiled egg for breakfast. And you know what the city of San Antonio was trying to do that next day? They signed a petition 
in the city of San Antonio with over 100,000 some signatures saying they wanted to review this call or they wanted to start over this call or the, or the, the, the refs cheated. There's no possible way in 0 .04 seconds you can get a shot, this and that, this and that. They had all this, all these experts come on talking about you can't do this in 0 .04 seconds. The speed, fire the speed of a bullet is in 0 .04 seconds and this and that and this and that and all that and this and that and they had petitions and yada, yada, yada and guess what? The Lakers went on to lose to the Detroit Pistons in the NBA championship. Not the Spurs. Not the San Antonio Spews. And everybody in there was saying, they cheated. They cheated. Hey, man. Like they say, they ain't cheating if they ain't trying. Systematic racism. You know what I'm saying? They wouldn't be cheat If they weren't cheating, they wouldn't be trying, man. So, that's just part of the game. That's the game we in. You got to know how to play them kind of games. I'm not going to say that, they that, 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 that the table's done. I'm not going to say that your hand ain't going to be messed up. I'm just saying you got to play your hand in this game, my man. Whether they cheating or not. Come on, bro. You ready? You want some more super tattoos? Ah. Uh, uh, oh. I think they probably got an ML. I know they usually have an MLK game. The Rockets usually play on today. They ain't doing too good. I don't know what's going to go down, man. I think Houston got these. Houston out of there. Not this, not baseball. Not baseball. Oh, unless Mattress Mac got to be down with them. I don't think basketball need a U of A stay up there. But I don't know, man. What's the day? What month is this? Hey, man, I ain't going to lie. I hope they don't be no number one, number one seeds. They trying to be number one. Number one cool, but going in that tournament, number one. Them boys don't, them boys don't rarely win. Yeah. What's up? You ready? Ah, ah. You ready, bro? Well, match Mac down with him. Match Mac roll with him. He rolled with the Astros. Match Mac don't roll with the Texas in the, in the Rockets, though. I peep that. That he do not fool with them. I don't even think he be at them games and stuff. Yeah, man. I feel him, though. Man, Texas trash. Stay out of there. And that boy love to slip, man. It ain't going to be no, they ain't getting no black people be running, getting no coaches. They ain't hiring no black coaches for a minute after him. Why he did that? Smoked out that draft pick. He ain't doing nothing but saving the number one pick coming out of college. I don't want him to come to Houston and play for them, play for that team. Shoot. Uh-oh. All right, come on. You ready, bro? Do -do -do -do. What's up, bro? Give me some. Yeah, her, her, her. Hey, JJ. Hey, JJ. Hey, JJ. Hey, JJ. Got you a book. Yellow Dog Blues. Alice Faye Duncan. Sent you another book. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, I got you, bro. We podcasting? Breakfast with baby. Breakfast with baby. Breakfast with baby. That's the theme song. <laughs> Give me some. You like that? What we got? Pear and blueberries. Blue. Look, I got that blueberry tea over there. Let me let you hit these pear and blueberries, and I'll read you a story this morning. <laughs> yeah. We got Martin Luther King Day coming up. I don't know. Maybe we'll go to the parade. Maybe not, though. Probably kind of cold outside. One Luther King Day. Hmm? 
Whoa. <clears throat> okay. Here he goes. Here he goes. You ready, bro? Yellow dog blues. Follow along with my finger, please. Yellow dog blues. I like that. It's stitched up. Doo -doo -doo. A stitching. Stitching. Stitching papers. Let's go. I woke up early one morning before the light of day. I fixed my dog a big pot of bones and breakfast scraps. Follow along with the finger, my man, please. Thank you. Sometimes life is a mystery. Love is a mountain climb. The blues grab me like a shaking chill. I found my dog house empty. My man, my man, my man, my man, my man, my man. My man. Follow along with the finger, please. I'm trying to teach you how to read. Yellow dog, I hollered with tears welling up my eyes. The rusty gaze swung back and forth. My puppy love was gone. Uh-oh, <clears throat> you want to hit the blueberries and pears again? We got blueberries. We got pears. Ah, ah. Let's go. We got blueberries and pears. Blueberries and pears. We got blueberries. We got pears. Purrs. Ready? <clears throat> oh, okay, okay. Take your time, my man. Yellow dog. I hollered with tears welling up my eyes. The rusty gaze swung back and forth. Oh, we read this already, my man. What you tell me? I crossed the road and asked Farmer Fred, the yellow dog passed this way? Bo Willie, he replied, as he fed his spotted mule, old yellow hit Highway 61. Who you shushing? Who are you talking to? I asked. We book reading. We read on books today. You want to come in? You want to join for the podcast? I want to. Oh. I want to eat. Oh, you're going to eat? Okay. Mama got the food. Mama going to fix your plate. Whoa. 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 Oh, this got that blueberry and pear. Whoa. All right, we got book we reading today, String Bang, look. I saw that hound dog running. Say, say my man, you need to follow along with the finger, look. Woo, finger, follow along with the words. I ran toward Cleveland on 61 and searched behind the grocery store. I searched around the garbage bin and beneath the grocery porch. Follow the fence, man. New dog here. Called Mr. Yee, dressed in his store apron. His wife pointed north. Yee Jr. brightly chimed in. I saw that dog on Dockery Farm. A spike Yee, Ike Yee, Ike Yee. We gotta watch that one too. Mm -hmm. With that Jamie Foxx with Ike Yee. You know who it is too? Ike, that dude that be playing on uh on half and half. The uh the gay Chinese dude. Mm. That's Ike. Where Muddy Waters played the blues. Ooh, Muddy Waters. That's the blues player. Mm. That's right here. I hiked my heels towards Dockery, but did not see a soul. All I found was a faded sign painted in big letters. It said, Mississippi Boogie, visit Marigold. Boogie Blues Club Marigold. I raised my thumb and hitched a ride. Marigold was far away. It was much too far to walk or run in the Mississippi heat. Aunt Jessie saw me on the road and stopped her Cadillac. Then we drove toward Marigold to shimmy, shake, and boogie in the pink Cadillac. <clears throat> all right, all right, all right. All right, my man, I got you. Blueberry pears, I got you. Blueberry pears. 
Yeah. <clears throat> we got the blueberry pears. Tomorrow Martin Luther King Day. Y'all want to listen to the I Have a Dream speech? I have a dream that, uh, I don't know. I don't know that I have a dream in the speech. That one day. You know it? No, I'm like, uh, that one day. I know that, I know that they, I know they be making money off that speech. They copyrighted that speech. Calvin, Clarence Jones, Calvin Jones, something like that. That was that man, lawyer, the lawyer of Martin Luther King that said, right before, that right before he went out there with that speech, he said, hey, hold up, before you go out there, he took a circle, he took a pencil and, and drew a circle, a C with a circle around that mug. He copy, copyrighted, that was the copyright law back then. That's how he had to do, I guess, to copyright something. Just put a C with a circle around it. That's what they did with that speech. They sold over about 60 million albums. I think they 60 million. They sold over 60 million albums of Martin Luther King's speech. I think, I don't know, I might be wrong. You ready, bro? In the pink Cadillac, the pink Cadillac. String Bang, what you got? We gonna podcast? Huh? No. You fired. Anyway. You're not no good host. No way. You're not a good host. Ah. Hmm. All right, my man. Here we go. Follow along with the finger, please. Please follow along with the finger. While Jesse and Mr. Willie danced under the disco lights, I searched to cry the club for my missing puppy love. He did not show up at Marigold, and my tears broke like a rubber. Uh, Jesse said, you better not stain my velvet seats. Like a patient's saint, she took her flower handkerchief and cleaned my snotty nose. I cried like a baby. Let's leave this juke joint town. You, you need to follow along with my finger, man. Huh? Mr. Willie waved goodbye while chomping on a fat cigar. We moseyed up the crossroads to Highway 8 and 1, Yellow Dog. I hollered across the lonesome road. Yellow dog was nowhere in sight. The dog had come and gone. You reading along, my man? Aunt Jessie's good luck charm wasn't bringing us no success. She got herself to thinking hard and follow common sense. She parked her caddy in Clarksdale at the Hicks Tamale stand. Say, bro, I'm trying to teach you how to read. Because uh, you good, you good, you good. You all done? You want me to swap our keys? We gonna finish? A man on a corner gave a wild report, like something we never heard. He said, I saw a yellow dog. That scamp left here on the Greyhound bus. He was traveling with a band. That boy done skipped town with a band. A band? Aunt Jesse hollered to the heavens. Where can that little dog be? I studied the map across my lap, and the answer looked back at me. <laughs> yellow dog moved to Memphis. He followed the city lights. He sings the blues on Beale Street now. He sings all day and night. What is the moral to this story? What is the lesson to this tale? Some dogs are very faithful. They will never leave your side. Some dogs run when run the road. They love you and then they're gone. All right, bro. The end. Hicks to Molly's. Look, that's a real place. Hicks Tamales is a real place in the Marigold's Blue Country. The Blue Marigold's Blue Club is a, is a, come on, bro. You through? <clears throat> Say, you podcasting? Okay. That's cool. That's cool.
good for you. A podcast by myself. Anyways, 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 anyways.